Over the past couple weeks, I have been getting a lot of messages, all of them saying the same thing. Dominic, what are you doing? Everything you review is old. Old typewriters, old cassette players, old 8-track players. Nothing you review is like modern technology. You need to review something brand new, right off the shelf. And so today, I'm going to do that, because today, I have something brand new. Are you ready for it? It's a typewriter! Right. What? Now, I know what you're thinking, Dominic. That's a typewriter. How is it new? How is it modern? Well, this is a Royal Epoch typewriter. Which, if you don't know, was designed and built in 2012. Yeah, that is very new for an obsolete writing utensil. If you want some proof, here is the manual for the typewriter. And on the back, highlighted, you see that there is the copyright date once it focuses. Come on. There it is. 2014. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would Royal, a well-established company, invest money into creating another manual typewriter, especially since it's obsolete to our standards? And the reasoning is very similar to the Crosley's reasoning when they built the Crosley turntable. It turns out both have a very similar story behind them. The Crosley was launched in response to the big vinyl record revival, and the Epoch was launched in response to the time typewriter revival. With the explanation out of the way, let's move back into the review, starting with the keyboard. The keyboard is as to be expected from something of this nature. The keys are a plastic, but a rather thick plastic, and the margin release has been replaced with a pause button with an arrow going through it. The spacebar is bizarrely off-centered to make room for the automatic button, which I'll get back to that later. It's also worth noting that this sticker and several others have been indeed replaced with stickers with some print on it. Also, the M for middle, or medium, has been changed for an I, which I assume stands for Egglu. With the keyboard out of the way, I'm going to move up to this upper area and inside there. And while some typewriters find a way to make this upper panel like slide down or hinge out on a hinge, the Epoch just goes right into it. All I have to do is pull it out. It's also a plasticky, cheap plastic thing. Inside, you'll find that the ribbon is brand new. Obviously, it's a brand new typewriter, which is actually nice. Because, you know, you don't have to put a new ribbon into it. Also, the key hammers are chrome, which is interesting, and they're also decently thicker than usual. Either a plus or a minus, just something I thought was worth noting. Moving up the keyboard again, we come to the upper area, of which I forget the name of. Here we see that the column of release has been changed into a button. Instead set is a little lumps of plastic that are um, perhaps slightly too difficult to move around, but I guess nothing major. The spacing leather can both be folded up and down to make it easy to transport. And there's only one paper support which jettisons right out of the middle. Now that I'm done with my quick look at the Epoch, I'm going to Pit it against the Smith Corona Super Sterling, which is an older portable typewriter, and see which is better, old or new. Welcome to This Is! That was overdramatic. Either way, first we'll start off with the build quality. The Smith Corona has a full metal body. It has a metal top and a metal side, and the casing is complete metal, as well as the innards. The only thing not metal are the keys, the spacebar, and various other small components. 
The metal does give an advantage, though. While it does make it heavier, it does make it much more stronger, and this would certainly withstand some beating. The Epoch, on the other hand, is completely plastic. Plastic keys, plastic casing, and a plastic top. Just look at that. I'm bending it with my pinky. The plastic typewriter means that it can't really stand up to the same amount of beating as the Smith Corona Cam. It's not terribly weak. If I were to drop this, it would probably survive, but over time, this would probably break down. Next, we'll dive into the typing experience. The Smith Corona is very pleasurable when it comes to typing. It types very fast and very good, and it's kind of fun to type on, obviously, it's, it's a typewriter. It's not the best typewriter I've ever typed on. That would go to an Underwood I reviewed a, while, a little while back. But it's still a very close second. And personally, I like how it types. It's by far the best portable I've ever typed on. The Royal Epoch, on the other hand, doesn't type as well. As I mentioned earlier, all the keys are plastic, and the lettering varies. Some of the lettering is embossed into the plastic, and others are just printed on it, which makes the keys feel slightly offsetting. However, when you're actually typing on it, it types pretty quickly and decently. It's not the worst type I've ever typed on, but it's certainly not the best. Scale of 1 to 10, I'd rate this about a 6 or a 7, which, once again, is, is awful, but it definitely wouldn't be my primary typewriter. Finally, we'll look at the special features of both. The Super Sterling is your basic portable typewriter, and it doesn't really have anything out of the ordinary, except for this column set, which has a clear and a set, so it's easier to set and clear your margins. The Epoch, on the other hand, oh no no, it has an extra special feature. This key labeled automatic next to spacebar, when pressed, it does this. Completely useless, but I gotta be honest, that's the best noise I've ever heard come from a typewriter. So, what do I think of the Epoch typewriter? Well, in all honesty, it's a very nice looking typewriter, very pleasing, but it doesn't type well, and altogether it's kind of a, a flimsy typewriter. It feels like it would break if I breathe on it. But it's a very interesting concept, and I am happy because this is a reassuring sign that typewriters are making a combat. Would I recommend the um, Epoch? Well, in truth, no, I wouldn't. It's an interesting concept and an interesting design, but altogether, for a similar price, you can get a far better typewriter, like the Smith Corona, which is a fantastic typewriter, in my opinion. And this one I got for the same price. All you really have to do is, like, hunt around at Goodwill or thrift stores of any sort, or online, and you could find much better typewriters. Well, that's all I had planned for this video, so... Thank you for watching, but before we go, how do you like this video? I've been trying a whole new style in my videos, and I would like to know your feedback, so leave it in the comment sections, but that's all I have, so thank you for watching, and until next time, I'll see you there. Why do I always mess that up? Look! Zombies! Don't worry, I have my trusty machine gun. Let me just start the new car. Break at the trusty jackhammer. That's not a good sign. <laughs> oh, what have I done? Nope, it's fine.